Minecraft beds, they are not the prettiest of blocks, that's for sure, but they do provide an important function in this game. Would it be nice if beds like this one over here could actually work like a Minecraft bed? That is, of course, exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And I've brought it's Fozzie over here who built this lovely little demonstrational room and bed. And Fozzie is a very curious guy. You see this sign over here? Do not press the button. I'm pretty sure that Fozzie's going to press the button. And look at that. He's pressed it. What a silly old chap. He's now dead. And he's going to respawn on the bed right here. As you can see, the bed projects him and he lands on the top of it. Pretty cool contraption, right? Let's go and take a look at how it's done. So here's the contraption without the room around it. You can see it's fairly compact. This thing is only three blocks wide. It's six blocks deep and seven blocks across, which is not a lot of space at all. And this thing is almost flush with the ground. Now it may look flush up the top here, but this is actually your bed, which is going to be one block above the ground. So we've got a piston over here. This has to be a solid block and we've got a piece of redstone over here that are in the way. So what you can do is add some slabs at the bottom of your bed because you want to make it look nice and pretty and at the other end you're probably going to have a headboard as well so that means you don't have a block right here where the redstone is but now let me explain how this thing works it's pretty simple we have a actual bed down the bottom here and it's been surrounded with blocks so that the only place that the game can respawn the player after they die is right here on top of this furnace now there's actually a string right here this doesn't have a collision mask which means the game will actually spawn the player on top of it but it will activate the piston to the side of it which is bud powered so if we go around here this is how the whole device is powered and um, the piston is going to push downwards when it's updated because it's being powered by this block and it's going to send a signal out to either side so that signal is going to wrap back across and then it's going to uh, bud power itself over here now this block also powers the piston on the other side so when it becomes unpowered it's going to retract and then after a short delay it's going to pull it into the side so that allows the player to pop out and land on top of the bed so a moment later it would then push out and uh, extend again. Now the signal also goes around to this side so there's a repeater with a torch on the side so that means when this thing's activated a moment later this block is going to push across. That's going to push the player on top of the slime block because this thing would have retracted and then down the bottom we're going to have the same thing happen again. You can see a signal goes around the side here which means this torch turns on and uh, the piston is going to extend and it's going to push the player up into the sky right as this extends and puts itself back to normal meaning the player is going to land on top of the bed so first of all let's stand on top of this and you can see it in action like so and then second of all we're going to have a look at this from a different view so here it is from the one side we're going to show you this twice and then we'll swing around to the other side and have a look at it from over there Before we jump into the tutorial, I just want to say a massive thank you to It's Fozzy for helping me demonstrate the bed in the beginning. He also built this lovely little room right here and a aesthetic bed to show off the function of this contraption. But Fozzy also makes videos here on the YouTubes. If you want to go and check him out, he has a Let's Build series that I highly recommend. There'll be a link to him down there in the description box, but otherwise we're going to crack on and jump right into this tutorial. To build this you're going to need everything that you see on my hotbar as well as some building blocks and three of those will need to be half slabs as well. Now this thing is seven blocks wide, three blocks deep and you can see I've marked out where the player is going to get projected from. There are four blocks going upwards and then this block right here is going to be where the bed is so it's most likely your floor is going to be at this height right here. But let's go down to the bottom and start building this. We're actually going to remove this block first of all, replace it with a sticky piston facing upwards and then remove this block that's for the redstone block to go into. So we can actually just uh, place that above the gap. So we're going to put down two repeaters like this. They're going to be on the fourth setting and then we're going to put a building block here and here put a redstone torch on the side of this one and then place a slime block on top of that sticky piston then over here a single piece of redstone and five building blocks like so now we're going to place a furnace next to the slime block, put a piece of string on top of it, then go back over to this repeater and put another furnace on top of it. Then we can swing around, go down below and place a sticky piston on the side of it facing downwards, like so. Then the next thing to do is to put a piece of redstone right here, a half slab right there next to the piston, and then over on the back of this redstone we want to place two blocks. So one there, one right there, then another two blocks over here, and last of all we're just going to put the bed in this little space. And now for the last part of this contraption, we're going to place a piece of redstone right here, a repeater on the fourth setting on the other side of that, a block, 
which is going to have a torch on the side of it and then you can put a sticky piston facing forwards on the back of that repeater and then a block in front of the sticky piston. So over on this side we're going to place two half slabs, both of those are going to have redstone on top of them, then we're going to place three blocks in a row, another one up like this. We're going to put a piece of redstone on this one and then repeaters on those two. This one right here needs to be set to the third setting, this one right here to the second setting and then we go around to this side, we want to go down below and place a sticky piston like that and another one right below it and then one facing upwards at the bottom that's going to connect to our block that's already here and now this thing is technically ready to go so you can set your spawn by right clicking on the bed at night but when you respawn you're going to pop down into this gap and you can see the contraption is going to push you on top of this block and by the way if you're in survival you don't take a single drop of damage either and that is it for another Minecraft tutorial. World Download is available in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. It will be greatly appreciated. And if you're feeling lucky, then click on Lucky Dip. Who knows where that's going to take you. But anyway, that's it for me this video. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.